Here's a story that's going to be important for you for the next 20 years of your life. It's about a growing billion dollar industry. In 2009, a stand-up comic in LA decided to get his friends together and record their conversations. Nobody understood why. 11 years later, in 2020, he sold the rights to these conversations to Spotify and pocketed a hundred million dollars. I discovered this guy's work in college because he was a UFC commentator. And I love the UFC. He spoke about the UFC on his podcast. As much as he spoke about aliens, as much as he spoke about startups, as much as he spoke about wildlife. Rewind. Five years, back in 2015. I'd watched Joe Rogan for years by this point. And I thought, hmm, India needs this kind of content. A podcast. But at that stage of my life, India was not ready for it. So I thought, let's go down the traditional route of creating content. Fitness videos, fashion videos, and of course, Larky Patowing videos. Fast forward to 2019, I was honestly bored of making that kind of content. Until a voice in my head told me. Remember in 2015 when you wanted to start a podcast but thought it's not the right time to start one? Well, now's the right time. Thanks to my job, I was meeting some very intelligent, very cool people. The thought behind podcasting was, let's just record these meetings. And this move was the biggest career move that I ever made. It could also very well be the biggest one that you will make. Bro, I hate podcasting, bro. Why will I make a podcast? Well, we aren't just talking about podcasts here. We're talking about voice. In 2020, voice searches accounted for 50% of all online searches. India itself is currently seeing a 270% year-on-year growth when it comes to voice searches. India has 500 to 700 million people who will join the internet over the next 5 to 10 years. People in the remotest villages of India who've never seen a television in their life will now jump directly onto the internet. Not many of them even know how to type, but they'll all be using the power of voice. Radio is already a huge part of Indian culture. Indians love voice, they love audio. Radio will evolve into something else in the same way that watching television evolved into consuming YouTube videos. That's the power of voice going forward. Not just in India, but all over the world. Voice-based platform Clubhouse is currently valued at $4 billion. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, they're all launching voice-based features. Voice is the future. You know what else is included in the future? Growing a personal brand on social media. If you have a powerful social media presence, you will be able to launch businesses much more easily. You will be able to attract many more career opportunities. And hell, even if you're a CEO running a B2B business or a business whose customers are other businesses, you'll be able to help your company just by selling yourself online. Online presence creates trust. Especially if you're creating thought-provoking content. Especially if you have a dedicated podcast audience. Trust me, it's not difficult to create this kind of an audience. Here's the current scene with podcasting in the country. They say that the 2020 lockdown fast-forwarded the world by five years. People's habits changed heavily. We ourselves saw a 400% increase in downloads of our podcast. This lockdown solidified the Ranveer Show as the top independently created podcast in the country. The reason I say top podcast is because we've more or less maintained our number one ranking through the course of the last year. There's so many podcasts in the country today, but here's what I think worked for us. We use the power of the three golden rules of digital content that apply to audio, video, and every other kind of content. And these three golden rules also apply to the world of business. Here they are. Rule one, do the basics right. Invest in good quality equipment, learn how to use it, and make sure the content you're making is top-notch. Here's how. Firstly, and most importantly, play the technical game right. People think that by using good cameras like this, they'll be way ahead of the pack. But what if the audio quality is like this? Now, to contrast that, how about this scenario? Even with slightly downgraded video quality, where we're using a phone to shoot right now, if your audio quality is fantastic, it makes up for the lack of video quality. Audio is more important than video in the long term. That's a basic rule of content that a lot of people fail to understand. For example, in this video, we're using the Blue Yeti microphone. Not everyone can afford expensive podcasting gear, but for people who are on a budget and those who want quality, who want to focus on audio, which is the basis of content, you've got to invest in good quality equipment. Let me take you through the magic of this device that I've been using since year one of Beer Biceps. 
This is the Blue Yeti microphone. Fantastic. Four modes of recording. The first is cardioid mode, which I'm using currently, which only records audio from one direction. The second is bi-directional. That means if you're doing a podcast with someone and you only have one mic, you can keep it between the two of you and it'll capture the audio from the front and the back. The third is stereo, which captures the sound from the sides. And the fourth is omnidirectional. That means you can have a group of people together speaking into the mic and it'll capture all of it. That's the power of the Blue Yeti mic. Also looks super sexy, super stylish, perfect for video creators like myself. But anyway, my point of this section is to tell you how important the technicals are when you're creating content, especially podcasts, especially anything voice-based. Audio is more important than video in any case. So invest in the Blue Yeti microphone, invest in yourself, your own business, your own craft, and witness yourself climbing up the charts. But here's rule number two. Rule number two of podcasting, strategy. Before any battle comes the game plan. Prepare before going into war. How are you going to stand out? Let's call the following strategy piece, strategy piece 2A. The first piece of strategy I had in my head was evergreen content that'll be relevant even 100 years from now. This strategy worked. When we began, we saw a major drop in views. Many of our episodes wouldn't even get 50k views. Now those same episodes are climbing in terms of views, they're getting discovered by the right audiences at the right time. Strategy 2B. Be the voice of the many. It's a general content rule. What do I mean by that? Take the example of actors and actresses. They're sick of being asked the same kind of questions that they've been asked repeatedly for years. क्या मुंह पे चढ़े रहोगे आप लोगों का नजरिया बदल जाए तो बहुत अच्छा होगा आप लोग चुप करेंगे with social media progressing all over India, people have seen a lot of content. They're mature content consumers now. The need of the hour is content that's filled with depth, meaning and intelligence. So at this stage, our strategy was, let's take the top minds of the world, some of the most famous accomplished people in the world and extract their lives as best experiences for content. Ask them the questions that everyone wants to know about them. Through your career, mm -hmm. have you had any mental health issues which you've just hidden? So do you ever get tired of business? Give people what they want. Be a voice of the people. Give them a product that they haven't seen yet. But above all, within your content, ensure that people find a piece of themselves. Strategy 2C. The art of podcasting. If you think podcasting is as simple as just having a conversation, you'd be surprised. There's a ton of psychological tricks I use to extract information from guests. Many of those I will not reveal in this video. But one of them is making the guest feel comfortable first. What people don't understand is that my podcast begins an hour before the cameras start rolling. I get to know my guest first. Before the cameras begin rolling, I have to connect with the human inside. Once I feel like that bond has formed, that's when I can actually begin shooting the podcast. Another one would be talking to the guest about the subjects that they'd want to talk about and the subjects that the audience would also want to hear them speak about. Another trick would be mimicking body language. Another one, spotting a moment in the episode where the guest's eyes light up. That's how I know they're enjoying a topic. Therefore, I take them down that tangent even more deeply. So as you can see, when it comes to podcasting, it's a lot more than just, hey, let's sit down and talk, bro. Which brings me to rule number three. Rule three, a heavy punch. Podcasting is a shift of culture that we're trying to create. Podcasts don't compete with YouTube videos. Podcasts compete with audio, but music. They're meant to be heard. The next time someone's going on a long drive or spending time in the gym, they should be listening to the Ranveer show instead of listening to music. That's when culture will truly shift. And if you want to shift culture, first you have to go where the culture currently exists. You can't be stuck in your own bubble. For example, there's so many podcasts in the country today that aren't able to reach out to their target audiences because their target audiences don't even know that those podcasts, those content pieces exist. So if you want to go and tap into the right kind of audiences, you have to first go to the places that the audiences currently reside in. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You've got to play your social media game as well. You've got to grow your social media on those platforms. You've got to market your podcasts on those platforms, which is why having a video podcast helps a lot in order to market there. If your product doesn't have customers yet, you've got to put in that little extra effort to create those first few customers. So that's one example of the correct usage of existing culture. But here's the second aspect that I learned pretty early on in my own social media journey. When you need a boost on Indian social media, you talk about Bollywood or cricket. 
as much as I want to talk about the galaxies and black holes and string theory and ancient history and the migration of Homo sapiens, most of India wants to know about Bollywood gossip. It's just how the country works. For example, in year three of the podcast, we intend on bringing on Himalayan adventurers and astrophysicists and historians on the show, but we had to begin the show with Bollywood. Even now. Bollywood has to be an active part of our podcast for the sake of views and cultural relevance. If you want to make people discover the power of podcasting, you make them discover it slowly. Nobody will care about Ranveer talking about astrophysics unless they trust that Ranveer is a smart dude because they've seen him talk deeply with AR Rahman or Abhishek Bachchan. That's just the bitter truth about living in India. Oh, and the other question we get asked: How do you able to get such cool guests on the show, yaar? Because he does a lot of stuff other than content creation. It's been four years since I launched my digital agency, Monk Entertainment. There's a team of 50 motivated hustlers on Monkey who facilitate these podcasts. On my private beer by self team, I have an outreach unit whose sole job is to research for new guests and shoot cold emails to potential guests. So that's the level of effort it took to create India's smartest podcast. But who'd have thought that it would begin with a mic just like this one? It took Joe Rogan about 11 years to win a hundred million dollar contract. A hundred million dollars is 700 crores. And considering the fact that we also have a Hindi version of the podcast, that we've sort of got a first movers advantage in India, and that we're staying consistent with our production, I believe that a hundred million dollar contract of sorts is in the pipeline for us. It is a possibility. The point of this video isn't to show off; it's to show you guys the level of effort it takes, the level of teamwork it takes behind the scenes to build a property like TRS. If a guy like me with no knowledge about content or cameras or mics could do it, you can as well. Just stay consistent, work hard, keep learning, and keep improving with every episode, with every content piece, with every day of this content creation journey. As Naval Ravi Khan says, the future of wealth is going to be created through code or content. I don't know about code. When it comes to content, it's all about constantly hustling, constantly getting better, and beginning your journey. In the same way that I decided to create podcast one day because I thought, hmm, that's a cool idea. I guess I'll figure out how to do it along the way. Keep hustling.